So this is part three, the harvesting demonstration, where we're trying to understand a bit more about if we cultivate seed beds to different depths, whether we can actually harvest them without damage and without incredibly high stone content or clod content. So I'm standing in the treatment here, which is actually reflecting what the grower does as standard practice. So we should here be able to find out that we've got about 32 to 35 centimetres of soil. So by checking that, we push a cane into the ground and end up with a measurement which is in the somewhere in the region of allowing for soil slumping, we're now around about 32, whereas at planting we were close to 34 or 35 centimetres. So effectively, even though we've cultivated to different depths, the intention is to be able to harvest at the same depth, we need to be able to plant at a consistent depth as well. So by pulling plants up, we should be able to find the target for the grower which was 14 to 15 centimetres for this crop should have been achieved in terms of planting depth. So if we look here, we've got 14, 13 and 14 centimetres. So pretty close allowing with source lumping to what the grower actually tried to achieve. If we move over to the plot to the left of myself, we now move on to something which is the most extreme treatment that we've been advising growers to do. So we're now into plot number two, which is the shallowest treatment, which is 25 centimetres of soil, which is really on the borderline of what we would ever recommend commercially. So we should here have much shallower soil, but hopefully the planting depth should have been maintained at our 14 to 15 centimetres that we wanted. So we have here a much shallower where we reach the pan around about 23 centimetres of soil. And if we pull up plants and measure the planting depth again, we have 13 13 and 14 centimetres, so very much similar to what we had at the deepest depth. And by and large, that's what we're trying to achieve. We think even with shallow cultivation to produce a seed bed as shallow as 25 centimetres, we still have adequate depth of soil to plant the seed tuber in tin to the consistent depth that the grower wants. The question then comes is, because tubers set below that planting depth, whether we can actually harvest them without damage, and that's the other part of the video that you'll see. Many people in the industry actually believe that some of the recommendations that we have been giving in terms of producing very shallow seed beds, typically 25 centimetres deep, it will be impossible to actually harvest the tubers without significant damage from two fronts. Basically, the first one is actually slicing tubers because there isn't sufficient depth of soil in which the tubers can grow and the harvester driver can't get his share underneath. And the other one is that if we pick up significant stone or clod content, that that could be impacting on tubers and increasing the bruise levels on those tubers. But speaking to the harvester driver today, he actually hasn't been able to detect any differences other than random differences along the length of this 300 metre field that seem to be related to soil type as opposed to differences in soil cultivation depth, which has really supported the views that we have that we've got adequate depth of soil 
even as shallow as 25 centimetres as a cultivation depth. So here we have six trays, three of tubers and three of stone and clod that have been removed from 300 metre lengths of row in the middle of the experiment. The samples at the back of tubers will be incubated and then assessed for bruising by peeling. Levels of damage of scuffing and levels of damage of slicing um, and other mechanical damage will be assessed. The trays in front are showing the stone and clod content these will be weighed and then assessed for differences between treatments. And as you can see, there are quite significant differences in total volume of clod and stone in the treatment which has got the red label, which is 25 centimetres of destoned soil, compared to the treatment on the left, which is the green label, which is destoned to 35 centimetres. These will be assessed and the overall results will be published along with the data on yield, which will be taken from small plot digs. So whilst this experiment has been on light soil, we have three other experiments which will be on much heavier soil and lifted later in the season when the likelihood is that the soils will be wetter. And therefore we'll be dealing much more with clod mixed with stone and a greater transfer of soil up the web where we may have to separate and therefore potentially do more damage to tubers. Mm -hmm.